Hello, Mr. Franklin. How are you today? Hope you are wonderful. And uh, you asked me about playing high notes, so I wrote down some uh, notes, uh, some ideas for you. And uh, I hope I can be helpful to you. The high notes are very tricky. Uh, it involves a lot of things. You have to bring a whole lot of things together to play high notes. It takes time and it takes work. If you can be patient and practice properly, and practice and practice, keep working towards that goal, you can do it. Um, but uh, like I say, you have to work at it. So um, I'm going to talk to you first of all about um, where high notes come from. How, how you play them on the trumpet, the science behind it. High notes come from air moving faster, not from more air. It's not like you have to blow a greater amount of air to create the high note. You have to get the air to move faster. And actually, the higher you climb, the less air, the less volume of air is used. That air has to be compressed, squashed into a smaller space to cause it to move faster. But the amount of air becomes less the higher you go. Okay? Now a good analogy is to imagine a hose with water coming out of the hose. And the water is just pouring out onto the ground. What happens when you put your thumb over the end of that hose? All of a sudden the water shoots very far, doesn't it? The flow of water never changed, but what changed is the amount of space that you are giving that water to escape from the hose. And because you're closing it down with your thumb, that same amount of water has to pass through a tiny space. And because uh, that amount of water has to go through a tinier space, it becomes under pressure. It becomes compressed because the water keeps coming through the hose, but you're forcing it to travel very quickly to get through that tiny opening next to your thumb. And so the water shoots very far. And that's kind of the idea when you play a high note on the trumpet. So if I uh, play a note, a low note, or a medium note, the G. And you would call that uh, sol, do, re, mi, fa, sol, right? Now I'm going to change from G up to C. I get that note to go higher by closing down the space that the air passes through. And I'm not doing it just with, with my lip. I'm actually uh, using three different points in my body to compress the air to cause the note to go higher. Number one uh, point of compressing the air is using the muscles in my body. So I am tightening up uh, the muscles in my abdomen, my belly, and my chest, and my back. All of those muscles work together to push on the air and force it through that smaller space that I'm creating. Now the second way that I compress the air is by using my tongue. And that's uh, very important. If if this is the inside of my mouth, here's the roof of my mouth, okay, and my tongue is here. Uh, the, my mouth is wide open and I'm playing a low note. If I move to a high note and I raise my tongue up, particularly the front of my tongue, you know, like if my teeth are here, and here's my tongue, and I start to raise my tongue up, 
that's pushing the air through a smaller space. Here's my big space for a low note. And here's my smaller space for a high note. Um, it's like whistling. Do you know how to whistle? Uh, I am not good at whistling. I can hardly do it. Uh, but the way I move my tongue is the same. You can hear I'm not very good at whistling, but you can hear that the note is going up and down, right? When I lift my tongue up, the note that I'm whistling gets higher. And it's the same idea when you play a note on the trumpet. Um, so I could... Uh, blow the air and move my tongue that way without whistling, just uh, make sound with the air. You can hear it's like, uh, ooh is the low note. And the high note is more like E. So I hope you understand what I'm saying about your tongue lifting up as you want the note to go higher. Now the third place that we close down the space that the air passes through is your lip. So your lip tightens up. And so your lips are coming closer together and there's less space for that air to go through. And therefore the air has to move faster. And that's what gives you your high note. So I'm compressing the air in three places. From my, uh, the core of my body when I blow the air. I really push on the air harder uh, when I'm trying to make the note go higher. I lift my tongue up to make a syllable, and I'm also tightening my lip, okay? And uh, I'm going to look at my notes so I tell you what I was going to talk about. Oh, yes. Uh, it's important that you remember that you are not moving more air into the trumpet. It's the opposite. Uh, when you move higher, you're using less air. When you use more air, the note becomes louder. I don't know if you can tell over the video. I'm going to play a G or a sol. That's a little soft. Now I'm going to blow it louder. I'm blowing... Uh, more air. Uh, there's more air, but it didn't go to a high note because I didn't close my lips down. So the, my lips were relaxed and that air can just move past my lips and make a loud G. Now if I play my G and I blow a little bit stronger, but I tighten my lips down and I raise my tongue inside my mouth, for the C, or you call that Do, I guess. So, Do, I'm tightening it down here, I'm lifting up my tongue, and the amount of air stays the same or becomes even less, okay? And it's like whistling. If you can whistle, showing you what my tongue is doing when I go from a low note to a high note. Um, now, one thing that's very important in your learning to become a good trumpet player and playing high notes is you have to learn to play efficiently. You have to use the least amount of effort 
to play every note that you play. Now it makes sense. If I play up to a high C, and I'm working really hard to play that C, I can play it, but how am I going to go higher than that? Because I'm already working really hard. If I can learn to play the C with less effort by being totally relaxed and getting my lip into a perfect position so that I can play the C easily, it's, it's very easy. Now I can climb higher. working hard because I practice that way. I, I work towards that goal of playing things um, as easily as possible. Um, so if you are working on your lower notes and you're working on getting a, a beautiful relaxed tone without working hard, that's going to help you uh, to play the high notes. And you have to realize it takes a long time. Be patient and uh, just keep working towards that goal every time you play the trumpet. Efficiency. Doing it as easily as possible. And keep trying to work on the next note. If you, Let's say you can play up to the C easily. And then you go to play the D, the next note up, and all of a sudden you're working hard. Go back to the C, play the C again, and see, can you climb up to the D without working any harder? You want to play that D. It doesn't have to be loud. As a matter of fact, if you do it uh, softer, that's actually a better way to approach the high notes first. Don't try to play them loud. Play them softly. climbing up high, you want your lips to be very close together. That's how you get the high notes, because you're pushing the air through a tiny space. If you play loudly, you're forcing more air between your lips, and that pushes your lips apart, then it's harder to hit that high note. Because remember, we want to play high notes with lips that are close together. So when you play softly, it's easier to keep your lips close together. Um, when you practice, uh, do not practice when your lips are tired. It's not like if you were working on lifting weights. If you uh, go to a gym and you lift the weights because you want big muscles in your arms, you lift again and again till your arms feel really tired, and that's how you build up the muscle in your arm. Building up this muscle is different. This is a very delicate muscle. It can be injured easily. So if you keep playing and playing until your lip is uh, beat up and tired, that's going to knock you down. That's not going to build up uh, strength in your lip. So play only when your lip feels good. And if your lip starts to feel tired and you start to miss a lot of notes, then take a break. You should rest as long as you play. So you can play for five or ten minutes, then wait five minutes, and then play some more. Five or ten minutes, then take a break. Drink a glass of water, you know, walk around a little bit, and then go back and, and play again. Uh, and that's the way to build up uh, your uh, trumpet playing. Practicing scales is very good for working on your range. So I heard you play the F scale. I'm sorry. Go up and down that scale many, many, many times. Keep 
uh, repeating it, and that will exercise your lip. And if you get it so you can play the F pretty easily, then you work on the G scale, which is one step higher. that for a month or two months and then if that comes out easy then you start working on the next scale even higher so over time over a period of uh, months and and years you build up the high notes so you can play them easily uh, one other thing that's a great exercise for you to do is something called a lip slur a lip slur means you are uh, moving from one note to the other without using your valves it's just by moving your lip and moving your tongue inside your mouth. So, for example, um, if I play low C, up to G, down to C, up to G, and then up to the high C, and then down, it's going to sound like this. <laughs> like I'm whistling, I'm doing that inside my mouth and that helps the note to jump up to the next higher note that I'm trying to play. And that is great practice to make your lips stronger. Right here, these muscles have to be tight when you play a lip slur to be able to get that note to jump up higher. Now I can do that same exercise with the middle valve. First valve. Then one and two. to make your lip stronger. So do that for five minutes, rest for five minutes, and do it again. Now, I went, uh, the first one without valves was this. Now suppose I play that same exercise, but I start on the G instead of the low C. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
up to the point where you can play the exercise the way I just played it. So start out on the low C first, C up to G, and then up to the high C. Okay, and that's called a lip slur, and every serious trumpet student should spend some time practicing lip slurs. Do it every day. Practice scales and practice lip slurs, and that will make your lip stronger and will give you those high notes that you would like to play. So that's it. I hope that is helpful to you. Uh, Franklin and again as always I hope that you and your family are safe and doing well uh, so uh, send me a message you know to tell me that you received the video and uh, let me know how you're doing okay take care bud bye bye